you have to see to believe the first glow-in-the-dark cat in the U.S. His name, Mr. Green Jeans, that's G-E-N-E-S. He's a cloned cat that has been genetically engineered to light up when the lights go down. The Audubon Center for Research of Endangered Species, or ACRES, as uh, many people call it for short, is a facility in New Orleans that is devoted to using advanced reproductive technology to help endangered species breed and survive and thrive. We work in assisted reproductive technologies. I specialize in cats and in wild cats. So here at the crane facility, we breed, raise, and hatch Mississippi Sandhill cranes. Um, and then once they're big enough to fledge, we release them out onto the Mississippi Sandhill Crane National Wildlife Refuge in Mississippi. Currently, there are over 130 Mississippi Sandhill cranes living wild out at the refuge. 65% of those were hatched and raised from this facility. We also work with the whooping crane, the most endangered species of crane in North America. This is the frozen zoo. This is where we keep all of our animal samples of different species from around the world. We've created this frozen zoo in hopes that in the future our technology will improve and we'll be able to use the samples of animals that perhaps have died or weren't able to mate and perhaps recreate their species. It's always an exciting day when we get to take an animal that was injured, sick, that would not have survived on its own, that we got to rehabilitate. It's a great feeling, it's a great day, it's a win for everyone here at Audubon Nature Institute. The Gulf program is focused on sustainable seafood, specifically in the Gulf of Mexico region. So we work with fisheries in the Gulf of Mexico to ensure that they're responsibly managed. We're hoping that the Alliance for Sustainable Wildlife can be used as a template for other zoos and aquariums across the country to come together, create a partnership that can help the populations that are declining so rapidly. Mm -hmm.